For what values of theta is the cosine of theta over three equal to zero? Whoa, what? Okay, up until this point, we have either had a problem where the sine, cosine, or tangent was isolated, or where we had to isolate it. And actually, we're in the same situation here. So cosine of something, no matter how complicated it is, equals zero. So now the question really is, where is cosine equal to zero on the unit circle? Well, a cosine is equal to zero on the unit circle here. That's the x value. So that would be 90 degrees and also at 270 degrees. So what I really have is theta equals, oops, theta over 3 equals 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Okay? So if I'm looking for where cosine is equal to zero, I found it, but I actually ended up with a couple possible answers, and it's not where the angle equals zero, it's where the angle divided by three equals zero. So now we have to solve these. So now theta equals, okay, um, let's see, 270 degrees, because I would triple that, and then when I triple that one, I'm gonna have 810 degrees. Wow, okay. Well, 270 degrees is fair enough, but 810 degrees, that's just a bit much. So uh, we're gonna have to bring that one back down. So 810 degrees, can't just toss it out. We're gonna have to subtract 360 two or three times, twice will work. So there we go, we're down to 90. Um, so I know you're like, well, that's what we had to start with. Yeah, it doesn't always work that way though. So instead of 180, I'm gonna say, yeah, well, it's 90 because when you triple it, the 90 becomes 270, the 270 becomes 810, which is in the same place as 90. It's that coterminal angle thing. So final answers are, and I'm just gonna write them in blue even though I've already written them, 270 degrees and 90 degrees. You don't have to write them in that order. But now I'm also gonna do the same thing for radians. 270 degrees in terms of radians is three pi over two, and then 90 degrees would be pi over two. Okay, for this next one, we're going to solve it like we've been solving the others. It gives you a little more space because it's going to take a little more space. We're going to add three to both sides. We're going to have four cosine squared of theta equals three. And let's divide by four. If you're like, let's square root. Yeah, you could make sure you square root the four as well, which we'll get to later if we do things in the correct order. Not that that order would be drastically wrong. It's just unconventional. All right, square root this, square root that whole thing. That's going to give us cosine of theta equals the square root of three over the square root of four, which is two. And we do have a plus or minus situation here. We're not talking about distance. So I need all the x values to be square root of three over two or negative square root of three over two. And we're gonna list them all. On this one, we had to continue to solve. We were like, oh, let's triple both of them to solve. Like I did 90 times three, 270 times three, not here. I'm just gonna start cranking out answers. There's gonna be four of them. It'll be all right. Everywhere that the x value is square root of three over two. Oh, there's one of them. And there's its negative. So 30, 150. There's another one, 210, 330. All right, let's write those down. 30, 150, 210, 330. All right, fun times. Let's get the radians on that. That's pi over six, five pi over six, seven pi over six, and 11 pi 